Iron Ton 500 pound capacity steel cargo trailer assembly. This is what's in the box right here. Not much to it. You need a. Uh, you, uh. Half inch wrench and half inch ratchet. And 11 inch, 16th inch wrench or spanner. And the same thing as socket. I would recommend deep socket. Don't know yet. This shouldn't take too long to assemble. It didn't take long to get out of the box. This has an upside and a downside, so that's your upside. And there's your instructions. Looks pretty simple. Shouldn't take maybe 15 minutes to get it assembled. If you don't drop anything or your nuts don't roll up under the boat or something. Okay, just take your ratchet and your spanner or boxing wrench and just tighten everything up. You don't have to crank it down super tight, it's just it's got nylon lock nuts. You just uh when you're running it like this and it starts to stop, just give it a maybe a quarter turn. Because you can crush this cheap pipe. And you do the big, same thing as your big nuts and bolts here. But what I need to do with this, I'm going to take a measurement and I'm going to cut this off right there. Then I have to take a measurement under here 
and cut out a notch right here, down like that, because this is going to go on the tongue of my trailer, of my teardrop camera trailer. So these are easy to put together. They don't weigh very much. I in the box. I can tell you how much it weighs. I don't think it weighs 40 pounds. But yeah, like I said, just go in there and tighten these uh, big ones up. Same way. And then here's your hitch pin. Slide that in there. Just like that. So, um, like I said, I'm going to take that. I'm going to cut the tongue off of it off of it there then I'm going to flip it over and cut a notch out of it so it sits on the tongue of my camper trailer my teardrop we'll walk out there actually I can show you from here maybe you can see it through the window okay. sit there with a the cooler sitting on it we'll, uh, there's a crossbar right in there right under where the cooler is so we'll cut a notch in it to fit over that and I can set uh, smaller coolers and generators and things like that, firewood, whatever. All right, thank you all for watching. Gonna put this on the 5x10 teardrop without a galley.